Three months from tomorrow, Americans across the country will head to the polls to vote in closely watched midterm elections that will give us an idea of where the country is nearly two years into President Trump's first term. This Tuesday, primary elections will be held in several states, including in Kansas, where a group of candidates for governor will be on the ballot before they're old enough to vote. They won't win, but they say that's not the point. NBC's Joe Fryer has our Sunday Spotlight. At 17 years old, Jack Bergeson, the noodles. Tyler Ruzik, and Joe Tutera are not old enough to vote for governor in the upcoming primary on Tuesday, but they are old enough to run for governor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want to thank you all for your support. Nice to see you. We want our voices to be heard. We want, uh, you know, our perceptions and our ideas uh, to be at the table when we're discussing policy, making decisions. Bergeson is a candidate in the Democratic race. Well, Ruzik, who's a moderate, and Tutera, a conservative, are running on the Republican side. It all started when Bergeson was surfing Wikipedia and read an article that said there was no minimum age requirement to run in Kansas. So he double-checked with the elections director. At that point, after I had it confirmed from the elections director, um, I began planning my run. How did you figure the out other teens soon followed. Poll. Before long, they became media sensations. Tyler, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Congratulations yes. on uh, joining the race. None of it surprising to their moms. He is doing what he truly loves, and he's just passionate about it. Makes me proud. This is more than running for class office, isn't yes. it? Yes, it is. He did that his freshman year and was president and thought, well, I'm going to do something different now. <laughs> there are people that think it is kind of crazy that teenagers are running for governor and that it's a novelty. What would you say to them? I put $2,000 of my own money to put myself on the ballot. That's a lot of money. And if you can't look at that and say, hey, maybe this kid is taking it a little seriously, maybe he is in it for the long haul, I, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you. They're traveling the state, attending campaign events, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with other candidates at debates, and passionately pushing their platforms. Public education uh, is really at the top of my agenda. Legalization of marijuana, we need to do it for recreational purposes. A big problem is transparency within the government. Who are we? Their campaigns come as young people across the country make their voices heard, like the March for Our Lives, which was organized by students. And despite their differences on policy, these three genuinely get along and hope to inspire the adults to do the same. I think that what we're trying to do, the three of us, is get everybody to sit down. Let's have a little bit of civil discourse. Let's talk it through. Voters young and old seem impressed. I'm the only Democrat that has campaigned on not taking corporate money. A few dozen turned up in rural Kansas to catch Bergeson speak. It was nice to hear a different perspective, especially from someone who's literally my age. So considering voting for him, but we'll see. And Eleanor Lowe says Ruzix yeah. got her vote. He impressed you. He impressed me greatly, a lot, yeah. But not everyone's impressed. State Representative Blake Carpenter led the charge to change Kansas law. After this year, candidates must be at least 25 to run for governor. They don't have enough life experience. They haven't had a chance to really go out on their own or have a house or a mortgage or taxes, um, you know, really hold much of a professional job or anything by that point. Obviously. I think the politicians are a little bit scared of us. There's a reason why it was, why it was passed. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Regardless, these young candidates are charging ahead. Yes, All three of us are, you know, trying to achieve that same goal. Of course, win the governor's seat, but also give young people more legitimacy and give the older generations hope that there is, um, that there are great leaders to lead us in the future. Just by running, they feel they've won. For Sunday Today, Joe Fryer, Mission, Kansas. Hello Today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.